Good day YouTube, it's been so long since I posted for the last time, it's been like 51 days and I'm so sorry for that, it's because of my personal life. First of all, my grandfather passed away, sadly, rest in peace. Then I had some health issues of my own. After that, I started looking for a graphics programmer job. I haven't found one yet, but I will. So let's get started, what's in it for today? Today is the day 6 of the Game Engine from Scratch series and we're going to make a logger. Okay, I'll tell you about the details later as we go on. And I want to thank you Daniel because uh, I took the code from him uh, for the logger. And uh, I'll link his GitHub repository in the link in the, uh, in the description box below, whatever. So let's get started, let's see what... A logger is going to be so first of all we need to make something like unity's debug.log but uh, let's leave it really simple for now let's just leave it console based later when we'll deal with the ui and stuff we will uh, switch to that that will be just like the editor logger for now we just need a logger to see what's going on behind the scenes with the engine and with the game so for that we can have different priorities like our logger can have a debug priority okay then it can has then it can have info priority then warning and then error so that's all the priorities there so we can also have trace priority which means that whatever we're doing we need to just we'll just trace it and if our priority is traced then it will say that this block of memory allocated whatever the message that we're trying to say so this is the basic thing so now if our logger has a priority of info and whenever we say debug any message it won't show up because the priority is info so that's how it's going to work the next thing is that we need color codes with everything so if we're trying to print an info we need this in green we need this in yellow and we need an error in red we'll also add that and other than that whenever something shows up to our console we also need the time at which that showed up okay followed by the message priority warning followed by where it came from because we're going to have two loggers one for the engine and the other one for the game so it can say engine because it came from the engine and then the actual message so that is how it's going to be and we'll also have an option to output all of the logs that we had to a file we can specify our file name or we can just leave it blank and it will create a log.txt file in the working directory other than that we also need it to be thread safe because later we're gonna have multiple threads one for the main thread which is the game like the game engine the other will be for the rendering and maybe in future we'll also have a multi-threaded uh, event system so the next video is going to be about event system maybe i'll make it a multi-threaded one maybe not we'll see we also need it to be thread safe and uh, yep that's about it so let's get started with this first of all this is our game engine where we left it hmm. let's compile okay so this works now what we need to add is let's just add a folder here called logger or just called log we can create two new files for our logger and then after that we also need one class that will instantiate two of these loggers which will be shared pointers and uh, then we can just uh, have some macros there and we can call them and the logging thing should work perfectly afterwards. Now I'm not gonna waste my time writing all this code over again. I've done this once, so I'll just copy the code and paste it, and I'll explain everything to you later. This just needs to be in the namespace called mini engine. Okay, so now let me explain the code to you. This is a very simple logger and we just need the normal constructor. We'll delete everything else. And we have defined this thing because 
fopen gives warning in msvc compiler because they have another function called fopen underscore s and it's more safe as to say microsoft microsoft say so because it doesn't require return a pointer i don't know the exact reason but uh, it just says that fopen isn't safe so to suppress that warning we're gonna use this and uh, the other thing is that we have different priorities and we can set it we can get it then we can set an initial string so this thing is like after you print every line like when you print every line first thing that gets printed is the timestamp then the message priority string gets printed then this thing gets printed so if you are calling this from an engine logger that's supposed to print all the things that goes around in the engine it should say engine column and uh, if get if it this gets printed from the game it should say game column so that's what it's for then we have this function if you call this once all of the things that you are gonna log using this logger will get printed in a file if you don't specify any destination any file path it's gonna go into the log.txt of the working folder where your exe file is i guess and this is just the same thing, uh, just an overload where you can specify the file path. Then you can set the timestamp format. Right now, the timestamp format that I'm gonna use is just gonna be like this and then T. That just shows the time. You can use different one, of course. Like you can just do date, month, and then year like this but that clutters things a lot because it's a very long and of course you just need time because when you're gonna print it to the file where you need it it's gonna have the date at which it got created so that just makes more sense to just have time at when the logs happened so the next thing is like everything is template based because we need to just forward the arguments that we got so first in trace we just like call this log function and because everything is like templates i had to implement it in the header file itself because that's how generics work and this is our log function so it takes the message priority we send from here then it says that if the current priority is less than or equal to this message priority then only we can Go, move forward then it takes the current time and uh, then we use something called a scoped log a scoped log this is like a mutex to make this thing thread safe and this is only available with c plus plus 17 and above so we need to make changes in our cmake file to have the standard of c plus plus 17 and we also need to add these files so let's do that Okay, now the next thing, where were we? Okay, here. So now the next thing we do is like we set the color based on the current messages priority. And this function just does this. So if the if the trace priority is there, we just set a string. Like these are the colors, and if we print them once in uh, using our printf, so then the next things are gonna be in this color. Uh, that is how it works and then we can just after printing that one line or after before Printing it to the file. We can just set the color back to normal <laughs> So this is our printing like getting the time and the time buffer using our format then just printing it then printing the message priority string and then printing the initial string that we set and then printing the actual message and if there is a file and it's not null we just print the print to those same things to the file but not having the color this is all there is to this logger and it's very very simple so the next thing is that we need to have two instances of this logger one is going to be for the engine and the other is going to be for the game so let's start making those and i will also copy the code for that because i've already done it and i'll just explain it to you uh, let me know if like you like this format better or should i just code things and should i explain like why i code because this saves my time 
and this code is like not really hard at all it's like such an easy going code that's why i decided to do it like this So let me explain you this. We have a share, shared pointer for our engine logger and our game logger. These are like just static things, and then we just define them as make shared for our mini logger. And then for one, we set the initial string to engine and the priority to trace. And then for game, we just set the same. And uh, we can call this function from our like this when we initialize our game. And in the log class itself, you can see I have all of these macros. So this is for like, you can just call this macro debug engine trace and it will trace using the engine logger and this things will trace using the game logger. So when you make code using CMake, it gives you this thing which is like not debug. So if not debug is not defined, that means we're not in debug mode and this thing will run that means we are in debug mode okay this thing will run and if this is false then the this macro should uh, return nothing should like should be replaced with nothing so nothing gets executed and the same thing with here so the next thing is that we need to just call log initialize and we also need to add those two files in our CMake list. Now in our game.cpp we can just add that file. And here we can just say initialize our logger. And then in the render loop, instead of printing all of this, we can just print some things like from here. Now let's try to run this code. It should ask for a reload because the CMake list file changed. Okay, it didn't. Okay, you see? Okay, reload all. So this is how it works. And if we change this to, let's say, debug, then it should be white. And if we add more, like, Let's just say errors. And we can also do one for our game. Let's say warning. Now this will work too. You can see. And if you want to output all of these things to a file, here you can just say in our log.cpp, you can just enable that. Now when I run it and go to the folder where this uh, files are, we should see two txt files. And now let's go where this is. So it should be... Oh my god, I have so many projects. Okay, here. You can see engine log, and this has all the things that we printed. Okay, we couldn't print complete the print. Because the program got terminated, and this is also from the game. That's all for this video. So take care, thank you for watching this video, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Bless you all.